Good day. Today we're going to do lesson plan number eight, term two, grade seven. Um, the topic is multiply common fractions by common fractions and then to simplify it. This link to worksheet 37. Um, and then the caps link you will find here. And then the dictionary, the dictionary part is then where you as parent or teacher need to go through this. So you have a better understanding to support your child. Then we're going to go to the mental maths. You're going to ask the 10 questions. Um, so you're going to pause now. Welcome back. So I'm going to reveal the answers. You're going to pause again and you're going to mark. Let's then go to the lesson of today. So for the introduction of today, um, it's mainly on revision. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause here and then with the learner um, or see if the learner can do this independently. Um, you're first going to do the addition um, number sentence where you're going to add two fractions where the denominators are different. Then we're going to multiply two fractions. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through this example on how to simplify a fraction. Remember, again, you might need to revise your highest common factors as well. And you're going to do this. So these three examples are examples that of work we have already done. But I want you to do it to revise so we can be ready for today's concept development. So welcome back. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply fractions again. So we're going to multiply the numerators and the denominators or the denominators and the numerators. Remember the order doesn't matter. And then we're going to get the answer. Now two thirds times a quarter is two twelfths. Um, but what can we do with this? We can simplify it. So we can say what can go into 12 that can also go into 2? Now, here we can say it's 2. So if we divide 2 by 2, it's 1. And 12 by 2, it is 6. So this answer in a simplified form is then 1 6. Let's look at this example. So we got 1 half multiplied by 2 sixes. We also get 2 twelves we see that 2 goes into the numerator and the denominator. So we divide it, the 2 by the 2 and the 12 by 2, and we got 1 6. I want you to pause now and do both these examples. Remember to simplify the first example's answer. Okay, so the next step is then to go to your worksheets um, and then we're going to calculate um, the following. You're going to calculate number two and then number three, you're going to cal calculate and simplify the answer. Remember, if you want to simplify your answers in question one and two, Start doing that as well. But the worksheet only requires you to simplify it from question number three. Then you're going to complete question number four. And then the last step then is to do your problem solving. Remember to do it in different steps. Um, if you need to make some diagrams to um, help you to solve it, um, you can do so. Then we're going to look at the extra activities. Again, as even though the problem solving is the last activity to do, please try not to skip these because these are examples coming from old exam papers and test papers. 
then we're going to end off with the consolidation. So um, with the consolidation, if you've got all yeses, carry on to the next lesson. If you've got some no's, you need to revisit, revise certain activities or questions or go to SA Teacher.